Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be adding on another video to my drugstore kind of top picks series or playlist. So I've done blushes, I've done mascaras, I've done foundations. Today we're going to be talking about my top four. I think that there's four. Yes, four and then an honorable mention. But these are four powders that I absolutely love that I would recommend to anybody who goes to the drugstore and needs a powder. So I'm going to be sharing with you why I love them and I'm really excited to talk about these. I mean I'm sure you guys will probably know a couple of them that I'm gonna mention because I use them in pretty much every drugstore tutorial that I do. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Allie and I'm obsessed with makeup, especially drugstore makeup, so thanks for stopping by. Um, this is a series or a playlist, so I will have the playlist linked down below if you guys want to kind of have that to reference. The idea of this playlist is just for you guys to be able to walk into Walmart or your drugstore and be like, oh no, I need a mascara, I need a foundation, whatever, and then you can go to my playlist and just see what I personally would recommend and hopefully you guys will find it helpful. So. Well, let's get into it. Okay, the first powder that I want to talk about. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powders. These powders are really great for underneath the eye and all over the face. That's why I have two shades. I personally like to use the shade Fair for under the eyes and then Fair Light for all over the face. They have quite a few shades of these and I really like how you can use them to set your makeup, especially if you're somebody like me and you like to have a little bit more coverage and brightness. This really helps to just lock down your makeup and it also adds a little bit more coverage, which I think is really nice, especially on days where you want a full coverage kind of look. These still look really natural on the skin. I feel like they wear beautifully throughout the day. These are seriously such good powders. I also love the packaging. I think the square cap is really cute. I will just dump some in the cap every time I use it, swirl my brush in there, and then just kind of dust it all over the face. Or sometimes I will use a more dense brush to really set the under eye area. So that's the fun part about these. There's a lot of different shades. You can kind of contour and highlight with them if you you want to so I wanted to make sure to mention those powders the next powder that I've really been loving this is the newest powder to me it's the number seven translucent perfect light loose powder I have been really really loving this I don't actually have a target near me but the last time I was at a target I picked this up and I really have been absolutely loving it I think that it's a really is there an airplane it's a really beautiful finely milled powder and this one kind of has a little bit of like a light pink tint. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it has the slightest light pink tint to it which actually really helps with brightening. I've been really enjoying this powder. I also feel like it does a really good job at controlling oils. So if you find that you get a little bit oily, this is a good one to pick up for all over the face. It also looks beautiful underneath the eyes. I use it all over and I absolutely love this. So I'm really happy that I recently came across this powder because it's been a really surprising find and I really really, really, really like it. I've heard people compare this to the Laura Mercier powder. I think that um, I originally became interested in this powder from Melissa Alatore. She used it in a drugstore tutorial and kind of compared it to it. So when I saw this at Target, I picked it up and I do feel like there are similarities. I feel like the Laura Mercier is a little bit different in my personal opinion, but I feel like this is a really great drugstore powder regardless. So that is that one. So this next one has my heart. I've gone through several of these. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. It's the pressed one, not the loose one. They do make a loose one and I'm talking about the pressed one, clearly. I love to use this for under the eye area. It's actually what I have underneath my eyes today. And I'll just take the sponge that I use after I'm done using the cream products and I'll take the sponge, still damp, and I'll actually like put it directly into the pan like this until you get some powder on it. And I'll just use that over concealer, just stamping the under eye area. And it just really brightens up the whole area, smooths it out. This is one of the best powders ever that I've tried for under the eye area, especially if you want that extra brightening effect. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I've gone through several of these and it's seriously such a good powder. I really love how bright my under eyes look right now and it's all because of this guy. So you guys really need to try this if you haven't already, especially if you have trouble with the under eye area and you want it to look more smooth, more bright, more awake, more fresh. You know what I mean? Try that. Try putting your sponge directly into the powder and using that to set the under eye area and let me know what you think because I think it's gorgeous. The last powder Powder, you guys. Okay, I've talked about this so many times because it is a part of my three-step set routine. This is one of the best mattifying powders I've ever come across. It's so good for touching up your makeup if you need to just kind of wipe away the shine but you don't want to add more like powderiness or cakiness to your face. This is seriously one of the best products ever for that. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Pressed Powder. My uh, lid cracked a long time ago so this one's pretty beat up but it's a very basic 
powder. It actually doesn't look like much at all when you just walk by it on the shelf. But this is amazing. You guys know if you watch my videos, if I do my three-step setting routine, which means I use two setting sprays, and then the third step, I go in with this, just in the areas that I don't want to get oily, and it just melts over top of the setting spray. It just locks in my foundation. It keeps the oil at bay. It is incredible. And it's only like $4, I'm pretty sure, at Walmart. This is something that I will always, always, always repurchase. I think it's one of the most amazing products that I own. And the fact that it's such a good price just makes it that much better. So this one was a must mention for me. It's so good. So those ones are like my top four powders that I always, always use. I mean, I play around with powders all the time and I actually have an honorable mention that I kind of want to throw out there just because I haven't quite, you know, used it for long enough to tell you guys like, this is a holy grail, but I have really been enjoying it even though it's a newer product to me. It's the Maybelline Super Say Better Skin Pressed Powder. I think this is a beautiful powder for all over the face. I don't really use this for underneath the eyes, but I just think that the texture of it is really beautiful. And I love to just take like a fluffy brush and just use it to set the perimeters of the face. So I wanted to kind of mention that. Again, I'm kind of still developing opinions on it fully, but it was in my drawer and I was like, you know what? I'm really enjoying this right now. So I thought I would share it with you anyway. The previous four that I talked about, I've been using like a ton more. And so I really, really, really recommend any of those four. And this one's kind of just like a little, you know, bonus powder because I do think it's really good. I just haven't used it long enough to, you know, really be familiar with it. You know what I mean? All right, you guys, so that is it. These videos are usually short and sweet, but I will link the playlist down below if you guys haven't seen my other drugstore recommendations in case you want to watch it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite drugstore powders are because I'm always looking for new drugstore makeup. I know a lot of you guys love the Cody Airspun powder. I have tried that before and I couldn't get past the smell. Um, a lot of you guys said that they make a scentless one. Can you please tell me where to find that? Because I always go to my Walmart and I've actually picked it up like several times and they're all scented. Like I can't find the one that's not. So if you guys know where to find the unscented Cody Airspun powder, please let me know because I would really like to try that. And I feel like I might like that one too just because everybody talks about it and raves about it. So let me know know, help me out in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I really love to come and sit down and film videos for you. You have no idea how much I enjoy this and if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to and so I just want to let you know how grateful I am for you. I can't believe that this is my full-time job now. It's absolutely insane and I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful you guys. It seriously wasn't that long ago. I was just telling my husband this, like it wasn't that long ago that I was sitting in my bed like scrolling through Instagram or YouTube watching beauty gurus and just like dreaming, you know? It wasn't that long ago and I pinch myself every single day that this is my job and that I have such an incredible following. You guys don't even know how much this means to me and I'm so grateful. So anyway, that got a little sappy for a Saturday, but you know what? That's okay. I really have to tell you guys that often because I mean it and I love you all so much. So thanks again for watching, for always coming back to my channel. If you're new here again and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button. I would love to have you on board. And if you're already subscribe but you want to be notified every single time I post since I post Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll just get a post notification each time I upload so you can be one of the first people to watch my videos. I hope you all have a great day and an amazing weekend and I will see you in... <laughs> That's a fluff. I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye!